Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Well, here I am fishing the day before the actual tournament. That is the Big Bear Trout Fest, their annual trout tournament. I like to fish the day before just to prepare and hopefully, hopefully find schools of fish. And here I've hooked into a nice little trout. So I made a mental note to return to this area because it definitely has potential. So here's day one of the tournament. I'm actually on the northern side of the lake by the dam, which is very deep. And I don't know why I focus my attentions here, but all I could land were these baby catfish and other assorted fish. I shouldn't have diverted from my strategy, which was to troll for trout. As a result, Saturday was very uneventful. I didn't land any trout and it was just catch and release, so not much footage from day one. Here I am on day two of the tournament. I started really early, you can see the sun's not even out yet. And I launched from the dam area, and now I'm just heading towards the east side of the lake. You can see the sun starting to rise, so in the interim, the air temperature Hovered right around 38, 39 degrees. It was really cold. Surprisingly, the water temperature was warmer. It was right around the high 50s, but it's almost 6.30 in the morning. I'm going to fish this part of the lake for a little bit before heading east. Keep in mind, launching from the north part of the lake and then heading east, it's a long distance. It was well over four miles and by the time I get out to this part of the lake it's well after 9 a.m. and I finally hook into a trout while trolling. As you can see unfortunately he spit the hook. Really frustrating. So as I continue trolling I get another strike and this next fish is not so lucky. I'm able to land him. You can see he's a bit small. I didn't really need a net to bring him into the boat. This guy measured in right at 12 inches. If you're wondering what I'm using, I'm using a Yozuri Gold Minnow. It's my go-to crankbait for trolling. I have one on both sides of my kayak and they work like a charm. Here I'm in that exact area where I'd caught that first fish on Friday. It was good that I returned to this area because there was definitely a school of trout that just was hanging around this section of the lake right across from Juniper Point. So here you'll see that I land a really nice rainbow trout. This one measured over 15 inches. Just as the bite was improving, it was already close to noon and I had to get back to the landing point before weigh-in, which was at 2 p.m. And I was well over four miles away from the landing point. So unfortunately, the fishing had to end at this point. To give you a better idea of my trip that day, here's a quick map. I launched right from the dam area and I pedaled my way across the lake to the opposite side. You can see that as I passed the solar observatory and into Juniper Point, this is where the school of trout was hanging around. So I had to work my way back and forth and this is where I was getting the most strikes. This is where I should have focused my attention all weekend, but unfortunately that was just on Sunday. Note that on Friday, I launched right here out of the East Boat Launch. It would have been smarter for me to have launched there that day because I had to pedal four and a half miles back to the landing area to get back in time. Here I've sped up the footage as I approach the landing point. Boy, it was a workout just trying to get here in time. But it was a great day on the water. 
and I was just glad to have fish to weigh in for the tournament. Here's some footage from the event. You can see it was very well attended. Over 400 people entered this year's tournament. Here's a different angle. I'm at the very front next to the grand prize raffle drawing, the 15 foot Klamath fishing boat and trailer. Well, thanks you guys for watching and please like this video. And if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe.